Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna be time for our Europa Universalis 4 Very Hard Hungary campaign as the one and only Hungary. Um, so it's another recording session. It's another day. So let's go ahead and jump on in get our bearings straight. We have uh, about a thousand dollars of debt. 1180 actually. A little, little more than a thousand. Um, we wanted to attack Moldavia. We want to attack and probably vassalize Moldavia. He is Catholic. We're going to give him Wallachian territory. And we're going to use some of that money also to pay off our debt. So we should do that. We should probably prepare for that war right now. I don't think there's any reason why we can't prepare for that war. This is a capital fort, so I can march on just this whole place and just vassalize him pretty easily. Um, how does Serbia feel about me? He, he's a little, eh. He's got some limited desire. I will admit, my vassals rebelling against me might be uh, dangerous. Um, we have we have a truce with the Ottomans until 1471, so we're gonna need to re-up this Austrian alliance. In fact, we should probably let's go ahead and keep improving relations with this guy. I think this this um hmm I think this lasts for some time so i uh, i don't know we if we get declared on by the ottomans we're gonna be in some deep doo-doo so um anyway let's go ahead and attack let's go and attack the moldavians we're gonna vassalize those guys let's go and fabricate a couple claims here i don't want to take the territory i just want to i just want to vassalize these guys we have how are we doing on yeah we're not doing too good on these institutions um it's spreading but slowly that's the problem but i think we should conquer bosnia we should conquer bosnia conquer Wallachia. we're probably going to Vassalize Moldavia, give him Wallachia, conquer Bosnia, give him to Serbia, if that's going to be doable. And then we can actually attack Venice sometime later in the future, hopefully. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. We should do that. We can't attack Ragusa, though, because he's guaranteed by the Ottomans. So, we have no ca or no manpower. We're a thousand manpower in the hole, but if Moldavia really only has 7,000 men, I'm not too concerned about, uh, about you know, attacking him. So, let's just go and attack him. Yeah, I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Poland is our enemy. We'll want to attack him, take some ter from territory from him. Lithuania is still in that union. They had some serious rebel problems that seem to have been fixed. Although, I'm guessing the Teutons have now declared war. So, Poland is very quickly going to fall apart. Which is good for me. So. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, we are streaming on Twitch. So, you know, if I have to answer a question or anything, I'll uh, I'll read it out for the for the viewers on YouTube. Um, there we go. It's funny, actually, I was trying to figure out a way to stream on Twitch and have all the, all the, you know, video camera and the, the emotes and overlays and, and such, and then record separately, like, a different way, six regiments here, to, um, or for YouTube. Yeah, so, like... YouTube wouldn't have all the overlays and the webcam and stuff, and I actually wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to figure out a way to do it. I might have to experiment um, a little more. If anybody in the YouTube chat or Twitch chat knows how to do that, you let me know. <laughs> I really have not been able to come up with a way to do that, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there even is a way, so... Who knows? Hey, who knows? We're losing great power status. At this point, I don't even care. I've got too much to do to really care about that. Yeah. I don't care. <clears throat> Let's put a positive spin on things. Yeah, I'll pay some dip off. It's fine. All right. Hello there, Couch Coach. There in the uh, the Twitch chat. He's actually a moderator. I got got moderators. I got quite a few, which is nice. I need moderators and you know different. Uh, different time periods and, and in different hemispheres and stuff to uh wow we're making six wow though these spools of war holy crap make a lot of money nice no poland you don't get no access no 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 uh bosnia has embraced the renaissance holy shit yeah we want to conquer that land for ourselves actually we um because actually yeah we actually you know we probably should take this territory for stuff shouldn't we i know i'm lacking an admin Focusing on admin would actually not be a bad idea. We did take a military idea group, though. But, 
All things considered, we should probably... Damn it, King Ladislaus, you suck, man. Just yearly inflation reduction. Let's go ahead and actually grab an advisor. Just one of those guys. Uh, we can afford him for now. It's not too bad. It's not too expensive or anything like that. Uh, Moldavia's already Catholic, so I don't really have to force him to, you know, do anything. Um, I can actually take this idea. Sweet. We want the, uh, the morale of armies. Yeah. Just like Moldova. Actually, you know, it's funny. I have a friend in the Discord who's from Moldova. He actually lives there right now. Uh, I was talking to him the other day about this. Okay. Let's go and pause here. On a vassal, we're paying only 93 Diplo for that, which is interesting. Uh, he's going to give me 200 ducats, which is nice. So Moldova will become a vassal of Hungary. He's got claims on uh, some Malachian territory, which is nice. Moldova will become a vassal of Hungary. We'll pay 199 ducats to me. I get some aggressive expansion, but I'm okay with that. It's, it's Catholic aggressive expansion, but nobody's going to declare war on me, so I'm fine I'm with that. Okay, so he's loyal now. Let's go to Privilations with him. We should uh, work to invade Bosnia. So let's go and I guess do that. Should we... Holy shit! You know what? I think I think Mazovia just demanded some stuff from Poland, and actually Poland accepted. Wow, that's cool. That's kind of crazy though. I was thinking about attacking Mazovia, but he's actually guaranteed that two tons. And two tons are kind of strong right now, so I don't think attacking him would be a very good idea. At least not right now. Even a little bit, but just not right now. Yeah, so we dishonored that alliance. When the hell? Until 1469. Okay, so I think that actually goes away pretty quickly. I don't actually think we're going to be doing that for too much longer. Okay, so we still have 970 ducats of debt. Oh, man. So we can improve relations with him. We can conquer Wallachia in a second. I don't want to do it right now, though. I think Bosnia is the, the bigger threat. The thing is, though, is I'm actually not okay with giving Serbia this land. Because if I give Serbia all of Bosnia, and if I give Wallachia all of... All, if I give all of Wallachia to Moldavia... Yeah, that's bad. They'd, they'd be strong enough to resist me uh, in an independence war. Or at the very least, they would be disloyal. Which means that somebody like the Ottomans could guarantee their independence. I do not want that. So... That would be bad. That would be very bad. <clears throat> Is there a river crossing here by any chance? I don't think so. No. So I can move into Visoki. It's 9 and 2. He's got 9 infantry, 2 cavalry. Yeah, I've got 10 and 6. They're not a full strength, but... I mean, I don't know if it matters too much. Um, you want to clear this war now? Mm. He's Catholic. It's true. Bosnia is also Catholic. This is a personal union, so I can't do much to Serbia right now. I mean, I could force my religion on him now, but I don't want to placate his rulers, probably. Let's go and pay off uh, this guy's debt. Serbia's actually got debt, too, which is curious. Hmm. I, I can't see Bosnia's treasury, can I? I don't know if you can actually do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll let me... Where does it? Bosnia. You've got 22 ducats in the treasury? Prestige? It doesn't really make any money. you got a lot of manpower. Okay, so you can't see the person's treasury. Okay. Hmm. Muscovy. Super relations with him. Uh, let's go and try and offer Austrian alliance. Nope. Yep. Yeah, actually, that dishonored alliance modifier is still affecting me. It might affect him longer than it affects me. Hmm. Could be bad. 
That'd be bad. Because if we don't get him, if we don't get that real alliance re-upped here pretty soon, we're going to be in some deep doo-doo. Our relations with uh, Bohemia, I'll admit, are strained. It's because of the, uh, it's because of the rebels. Yeah, we supported the rebels, so. Hmm. I actually think we might have to hold off on this for a second. 26 aggressive expansion. He's... Yeah, full annexation of this guy. It would be quite a bit of aggressive expansion. Not to mention unrest, which I can't really support right now. Hmm. Let's go to Maromeros. Let's go put down some unrest. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Hmm. Let's go and get rid of this and rest. I might actually lower the army maintenance here for a second. Just kind of hang out for a minute. Um, this debt is still kind of being pretty bad. It's going to kill us, so. Okay, so we're making decent money. Um, we're definitely falling behind in technology, though. Yeah, let's actually wait. Let's wait until Bosnia... And, and let's wait until Bosnia has all of this territory in the Renaissance, and then uh, I think we'll attack them. I think we'll attack them. Because, I mean, we might be able to actually um, get the Renaissance ourselves pretty quickly. It's actually taking a long time. It's taking a lot longer than I really kind of wanted it to. I just I haven't had the points to develop anything. Recently disarmed their alliance. Hmm. Yeah, that's gotta get that self. It's gotta get self fixed. Hopefully soon. When can I start annexing Serbia? It's gonna be a while. Yeah, we should pay off Serbia's debt just to make him. Uh, a little more loyal. See, yeah, that's huge. Siphon his income, too, but the relations hit's pretty substantial. Okay. Alright, so yeah, everything's good for now. Um, I'm gonna glide. Lithuania's getting fucked up. Look at this. Fully occupied. Poland's gonna be, like, destroyed, too. Yeah, what's that peace deal? Poland will cede Poznan, Lechia, Dotek, and Teutonic Order, or Poznan will cede, yeah, Poland will cede Poznan, Lechia, and Notek to the Teutonic Order, Lithuania will cede Polotsk to the Livonians, Lithuania gave Brastak, Govno, and Grodno to the Teutonic Order, War Reps, holy shit, dude, the amount of gross expansion this guy just took, Jesus Christ, Moldavia is still here. He's actually not guaranteed anymore by these guys, by the Teutons. I actually probably could attack Poland again. He's still leading that personal union over Lithuania, though, which is a problem. But Lithuania does have minus two stability. Um, Poland's got plus one. When's this truce up with Poland? 1474? It's not that far away. Hmm. So when is, uh, when is Bosnia going to get all of this? Soon enough. Yeah, soon enough. <clears throat> Ooh, the Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks. Holy shit, the Mamluks have 62,000 men. Holy god, man. They actually might be able to resist fairly well against the Ottomans. Although, yeah, Ottoman ideas are fucking dumb. It's just so strong. Ooh, look at the Dark Zealots. Yeah, our, our king is still our general. He's a 0230. He's ruthless as well. He still has not died, man. I've been using this general for, like, years. Ladislaus Posthumus on Hapsburg. I, I figured he would die by now. It's like, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Getting an alliance with the Russians is not a bad idea. We should consider that. We should consider doing that. He has more morale than I do, Jesus. We have tactics disadvantage. Alright, how you doing, Bosnia? Yeah, he's still behind and uh Do you have claims on him? No, you don't. I do. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's weird. I told I told Serbia I, I wanted this territory and he has not done anything. That's a shame. But I think I will court myself. Austria declared war on Alsace. Oh, you fucks. So, yeah, we're gonna get killed by this inflation if we don't take care of this soon. moldavia has got debt, but Lockheed just embraced Renaissance too. I'm gonna go ahead and take this for the 10% morale. I think we're gonna attack Bosnia right now, actually. Um, how loyal is Serbia? 22%. He's got no debt. Yeah, if I gave him Bosnian territory, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. I don't know if uh... I don't know if that'd be good for me. Now, I'll admit, as a vassal, Moldavia, Serbia, and Bosnia, just having them as vassals, into, like, not annexing them, would, would give me a lot of strength, because they can maintain their own armed forces and stuff pretty, you know, pretty easily. That's like an extra, you know, 15, 20,000 troops I could, I could get. Um, so it's not a bad idea to consider keeping them around. <clears throat> you know, what if I vassalized Bosnia, took out Wallachia, gave all that territory to Moldavia? Castillo's in a golden era? <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> Is Naples still under Aragon? Ooh, yeah, that's right. Castillo got the Iberian wedding. Which means that Venice is diplomatically isolated. We can attack Venice, too. Hmm. Let me ask the Twitch chat, see what they say. Should I vassalize Bosnia or just fully annex him? I'm thinking about it. Taking the territory, while it would be nice, would not be a major benefit to me for, like, years to come. It would take years. And I can't really afford to spend admin right now. I'd re Ooh. <laughs> Fucking Ottomans have a golden era. Dude, 78% war score against this guy? That was a decisive victory against Memlooks. Jesus Christ. Just kick that guy's ass. I might actually vassalize everybody. They might be a little disloyal collectively. They all might want to kill me, but I think it would be worth it. I can't really afford the diplomatic relations slot, though. That is true, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see. Uh, I'll think about it. Oh, we lost our CB. Okay. You won't, yeah, you won't accept vassalization, right? Hmm. Because, like, the way I also see it is that I could annex Bosnia, but his land is really shitty anyway. I don't get much for it. You know? I really don't. I don't get much for it. Where's my development map mode? Yeah, no, maybe I don't have one. I mean, yeah, just annexing him, I don't know. Would get rid of him, but I wouldn't see much of a benefit anyway. And I'll admit, he is Catholic. I don't know, if I, if I made... Moldavia's already Catholic, Bosnia's already Catholic, Serbia's already Catholic. If I make all these guys, you know, Catholics, I just need to enforce... If I enforce Catholicism on Serbia, we've got three vassals who are of military usefulness, and also they they can convert to Catholicism. You know? Hmm... Yeah, doesn't matter much. I got a lot of force limit. Hmm. I do need to develop the armed forces. This, this interest is killing me, though. 3.23 3 ducats of interest. That's a lot. Take that base tax. Um, let's go and come over here to the burgers. I don't really want to do this, but I might actually ask for uh, a contribution. We'll give them monopoly charters. They really don't have a lot of influence anyway, but... Huh. What about the clergy? 
I can seek the support of the clergy. And I could demand some advert from them. That's not a bad idea. Although they do give me a national tax modifier plus 15%. Let's go and take a look here at the Pope. The Pope doesn't really like me too much. We should improve relations with the Pope. Uh, we're no longer considered a great power, which is fine for me. Ottomans just got tech 7 military. Jesus. Oh, we're a great power again. Okay. Whatever. Still need this alliance with Austria. It's been a little while. I think this, this, I'm not sure how long this Dishonored Alliance modifier is going to last, but... Jesus Christ, it's been a little while. Wait, who's at war? What, what's going on with this? Well, he's Conquest of Genoa. And Theodorian Conquest of Krizokar. Alright, fine, I'll give you access. Access. Um... Yeah, I think we invade Bosnia, and... I think we might just annex him. Yeah, I honestly, I, I can't really... Hmm. My, my concern is that all these guys are rebellious. That's my concern. That they become rebellious. I can't really trust too much that they will be loyal. And so, annexing Bosnia, while it doesn't help me that much, is better than nothing. I should also probably accept uh, Croatian and uh, possibly Serbian culture. Romanian, for sure, I think I will probably have to accept sometime in the future. Brandenburg. Fabricating some claims. Let's put relations with the Pope man. Once we get some claims, we'll declare war in Bosnia. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and, I'm, I'll try and save as many points as I can get. Yeah. Go off a couple loans. Uh, it's getting better. 865 ducats of debt. <laughs> you know. It's like 1,000% of our uh, yearly income. Or monthly. No. I think it's yearly income? Monthly income? God, this inflation. Jesus Christ. I could debase the currency, but we're paying enough penalty for uh, tech as it is, so I'm not going to do it right now. Um, looks like most of at least yeah, Western and, and Southern Europe has taken the Renaissance. Yeah. Hmm. Who's got better ideas? Wallachian ideas or Moldavian? Oh, dude, holy shit. Really? Moldavians get plus 10% to morale? Oh, wow. Making them a march is not a bad idea. Giving them Wallachian territory and making them a march? Holy shit, they're going to be pretty strong. Yeah, actually, they will be pretty strong. Not bad. Um, how many troops does Venice have? We got 32,000. No manpower, though. Yeah, so attacking Istria and Dalmatia and then taking most of this territory, too, would be awesome. Uh, he actually owns the Rasso. I wouldn't mind owning that either. It's a little far away, though. I can't really get there. Jesus. Ottoman's no longer a valid rival for me. Poland it is. Castile rivaled me, that's right, but I don't exactly want that, so we're not going to grab him back. God damn it, Austria. I need you as an ally, dude, for real. I think it might go away after this year, though. I think as long as that modifier, Dishonored Alliance, is present, I think I'm not able to declare war. I mean, um, ask him for an alliance. Okay, let's go and take Morav Army's plus 15%. That's pretty strong. I do need that. I don't want to take it, but it's it's strong, so I need it. Um, hopefully the Ottomans do not get the idea to declare war on me. Jesus Christ. 80,000 men, man. 80,000. So I could kick my ass in a heartbeat. Even with Austrian support. He's not that strong. <laughs> there we go. We can offer the alliance now. Free Cardinal. There we go. Get the alliance with Austria again. Sucks that he never got the Burgundian Inheritance. If he did, that would have been awesome for us. Really, I actually kind of needed that. 
but it's fine. Okay, no debt for my subjects. Okay, let's go and declare war in Bosnia then. Ripping relations with Moldavia. That'll clear itself up in time. Okay. Uh, we have 023. Yep, 0230 liter. Oh, you bastard. There we go. Don't escape. Don't run from me. We got a minus one because of terrain, not because of the river crossing. What's our morale anyway? Four morale. Okay, so we got pretty sizable advantage over him. Who's he retreating to? So yeah, full annexation of this guy. I think we can attack. We can actually probably attack Wallachia now. Um, he's warned by the Ottomans, so we should jump in there before unfavorable circumstances prevent us from doing so. Let's see, Twitch chat says, uh, the Burgundian inheritance and fire anytime before 1500. That's true, but Burgundy, he's got a king and then he's got an heir. So I, I don't imagine he's going to die childless, nor I don't think he's going to go to war against France. In fact, because he owns Vermandois, it looks like he actually went to war with France and won. That's not encouraging to me. Anybody else like me? Yeah, Muscovy, I'd like an alliance with you, but if I can get it. We gotta attack Poland sometime. Brandenburg, Lithuania, I mean, I think he still is pretty weak. Then again, though, we have some debt issues, so I don't know about that. We have some aggressive expansion issues, actually, with the Catholics. It's going away, though. It's getting better, but... Uh, we should attack for probably this territory so we can get to Theodoro. I want to get over there. We should attack for the rest of Poland, and then I do want to find a way to attack for Mazovia. Brandenburg's getting kind of large. The Teutons... Yeah, the Brandenburg and the Teutons don't like each other, so that's good for me. But we should be careful. We, we sh really should be careful. We don't want to take too much aggressive expansion. Well, he may just embrace the Renaissance. We need to do that as well, if we can. It's really kind of being difficult for me. Hmm. Okay, so we just took Vasoki. Zovia, Poland, and Ragusa. That's fine. 171 admin. 30% overextension. I have some admin right now. We have plus one. Yeah. We're getting rebels back. Anything serious? I don't think so. Uh, Bohemia. Marameros. Okay. Hmm. Vassalize or Annex? Give to Serbia? Possible. Hmm. I don't know how much I like that, though. I really don't. Hmm. Yep, annexation. <clears throat> yep. It's just what's best, I think. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, hunger. Will Lockheed announce me his arrival? Okay, we'll kill him in a second. Um, let's get out of here. We should train up probably some more troops now. Uh, but I don't need any more cavalry. We need infantry. Remove Ragusa from the map, I would love to. He's actually in a trade league with Venice, so we should attack Venice and do that. Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah.
So pretty, pretty gnarly inflation. Uh, we can't embrace Renaissance now. <clears throat> so, okay. Let's go and core all this. Spending a little bit of admin. That's okay, though. Yeah, we'll catch up. We want to get this. We want to embrace Renaissance. Um, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, guys. I will see you in the next uh, episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.